So you scan the markets, you spot a good trading signal, you open a trade, and you define your stop loss and the profit target. And all of a sudden, the market goes to your stop loss, knocks you out of the position, and continues to move in your original direction. I bet this happened to you multiple times. In today's video, I will show you a trading setup that will allow you to avoid those scenarios and you'll learn how to take advantage of retail traders and trade in the direction of big market players. In this strategy, we will concentrate on price action, specifically on inside bars. Inside bars are one of the most neglected price action setups in trading, most likely because traders don't know how to read them properly. Inside bars, if traded correctly, can be a great way to make money trading. Inside bars are either one or more candlesticks which are contained within the range of one candle. This candlestick is usually referred to as the mother candle. The second small bar is completely contained by the first one, which is the opposite of the engulfing bar pattern. The inside bar is seen as a reversal pattern because it indicates that the market trend is likely to change, especially when it's located at tops or bottoms. It is also considered a continuation signal in strong trending markets. The inside bar formation indicates a period of consolidation. In the case of a daily bullish trend, it reflects that the bulls are not buying any further on the second day and is represented by a small red candle on the second day after a strong uptrend. And in the case of a bearish trend, it means that sellers are not in control of the market anymore and is reflected by a small green candle after a strong downtrend. Your understanding of the psychology behind this pattern will help you to better identify major turning points in the market and time correctly your entry and exit. The inside bar can be traded successfully in trending markets, particularly if the market is moving strongly because the formation of this price pattern provides you with a great opportunity to join the big move. This strategy is very simple. You have to identify a strong trend and wait for the formation of an inside bar pattern in line with the direction of the market. The formation of this pattern indicates that the market pauses before making its next move. This will allow you to enter the market in the right time. Here the market is trending down. The formation of inside bar gave us several opportunities to join the trend. Remember, you will only look for selling opportunities. And this way, you are just trading in a direction that is favored by the market. Now, even though this price action setup will work well as a continuation pattern, you are not going to take all these signals into consideration. You have to look for significant patterns that form in specific areas in the market, such as support and resistance. Fibonacci retracement levels, moving averages, or pivot points. Technical analysis can be very complicated if you don't focus on the most important basics, such as support and resistance levels. These areas represent a psychological level where the game is played between buyers and sellers. If sellers overcome buyers, they will push the price below the support level. If buyers overcome sellers, they will push the price above resistance levels. The inside bar is one of the most reliable price action signal that will help you to find the right time to enter the market and trade with the big players. Once you understand how to use it in combination with these levels, you will know what the market is trying to tell you and you will make good trading decisions. This example reveals how sellers broke the support level and the formation of the inside bar pattern after the breakout of this level signals indecision in the market. Right now, no one knows if the support level is really broken, and if you sell up the market immediately after the breakout of this level, you are making an aggressive entry, which is tricky and dangerous, because the breakout is not confirmed. The safest entry should be after the breakout of this pattern. The breakout of this candlestick pattern is a clear confirmation that the market is not in an indecision period, and sellers are obviously in control of the market. In this other example, the market had difficulty rising above this resistance level. What is interesting is what happened after the breakout. You will notice that there is a clear inside bar formed here. The formation of this price action pattern indicates that the breakout is not yet confirmed. Remember, an inside bar formation means indecision and hesitation. So you have to be careful and bear in mind that a false breakout scenario is possible. What will make the difference between you and other traders is your deep understanding of how this pattern works. Some traders will wait for a retest of the breakout, which never came. That's a lost opportunity. But if you identify the inside bar setup and you place the buy order after the breakout of the inside candle, this would have banked you a decent profit. 
Here are some key tips on trading the inside bar pattern. Number one is trade the bigger time frames. I'm not against trading lower time frames. You can trade the setup on a 5 minute time frame using other technical indicators to filter your signals. But you have to be an experienced trader. If you are a beginner, I recommend you to stick with trading the signal in bigger time frames, such as the daily and the 4 hour time frame. Trading the setup on the lower time frame will increase your chance to overtrade the market and take low probability price action signals. And this is the fastest way to blow up your trading account. If you focus just on bigger time frames, this will allow you to set and forget your trade instead of being emotionally controlled by the market. Number 2. Trade the dominant trend. You should start trading inside bars in line with the direction of the market, especially in strong bullish and bearish trends. And don't try to trade it against the trend if you are a beginner. When you feel like you master trading this pattern with the trend, you can move to trade range bound markets and counter trends. Number 3. Trade only from key levels. Remember that not all inside bars are worth your time and effort. There are specific locations where this setup works great, so make sure that your signal is located in a key level in a market, like major support and resistance levels, Fibonacci retracement levels, moving averages, or pivot points. Number 4. Find different factors of confluence. Trading with confluence means combining different signals to make the best trading decision. To trade using this concept, you will need to look for a point in the market where two or more levels are coming together and wait for an obvious signal to form. This trading method will give you confidence in your trading approach and will allow you to avoid overtrading. Now, banks and big players know how we trade the market. They know how we, retail traders, think and where we put our stop losses and profit targets. And this is the reason why they could easily take money from us. One of the most famous strategies that big players use to make money from novice traders is called stop loss hunting. This strategy consists of driving prices to a certain level where there are massive stop loss orders. And the goal is to create liquidity because without liquidity, the market will not move. The interaction between big participants and novice traders creates repetitive patterns in the market. And one of the most important candlestick pattern that illustrates how big players manipulate the market is the inside bar false breakout pattern. Your understanding of the inside bar false breakout and your ability to detect it on your charts will help you to better exploit it to make money instead of being a victim of market makers and banks manipulations. This price action signal is formed when price breaks out from the inside bar and then quickly reverses to close within the range of the mother bar. When you spot a large candle and then many inside bars, be ready to witness a false breakout. In most cases, banks will try to trap retail traders. Learning how to trade the inside bar false breakout is something every price action trader should take seriously, being a critical weapon to have in your trading arsenal. Here's an example of how to trade inside bar false breakout in a trending market. As you can see here, the market was trending down. That indicates that sellers are in control of the market. So if you decide to sell the market near the resistance level, the probabilities will be in your favor. But big players want to hunt retail traders' stops before pushing the market to go down, so they push the price upwards to attract new buyers who buy the inside bar breakout. If you are familiar with trading the inside bar falls breakout, you will understand what happened in the market, and you will simply take advantage of this manipulation instead of being trapped by the market. In this case, the inside bar falls breakout gave us a good selling opportunity. If you are able to identify this setup, and you understand the psychology behind it, there should be no reason not to get into the sell position. This chart shows us a good example of an inside bar false breakout buy signal, with a pin bar as the false break bar in a trending market. In this example, there are multiple inside bars within the mother bar structure, and this is relatively common, and sometimes you will even see 4 or 5 inside bars within the mother bar before the false breakout occurs. Here's an inside bar false breakout against the trend. In this case, it was a bullish inside bar false breakout that formed at a key support level, following a move lower. Since this fake inside bar signal was obvious and well defined, and it had the confluence of the key support level, it was a signal worth trading. I don't know if you are familiar with Fibonacci retracements, however, 
I will try to show you how to use it in a simple and efficient way in combination with the inside bar falls breakout. The strategy is simple. If the market is trending, we wait for the retracement. And if the pullback reaches the 50 or the 61 FIB level, we need an inside bar falls breakout signal to confirm our entry. This trade is a high probability one because there are lots of factors of confluence that encourage us to place a sell order. The first reason is the trend, which is obviously down. The second is the key Fibonacci ratio that represents an important resistance level. And the third one is the inside bar false breakout. One signal is not quite enough to make a good trading decision, so you have to look for multiple triggers that support your analysis. This way, you will put the odds of success in your favor. Here's another potential trade. The price moved higher, cooled back to reach our key ratio, and then continued higher. The formation of the inside bar falls breakout in this area indicates that the pullback has finished and another strong move will take place. Understanding the market structure is very important. If the market is trending, you can trade the inside bar falls breakout to take advantage of trapped traders and enter the market where novice traders have to get out with a loss. As always, if you learned something new and found value, give us a like to show support, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to stay notified when we upload new videos. Until next time.